question on linear SHM and in differential equation. You can see it is in it is asked in board examination of March 2020, 2017, and February 2016. So different in a different way the question is asked. It may be asked for two mark or three mark. If define and obtain differential equation, three mark. Define and state differential equation, then two mark. Or only definition for one mark. Now let's see the answer of this question. Linear simple harmonic motion. So what is linear SHM? So basically first we see the example here. You can see an example in that block is oscillating. And this is an example of linear simple harmonic motion. Now we have to define this linear simple harmonic motion with the help of this example. Now in this example, what happened? You can see the block is displaced with a displacement X and the direction of the displacement you can see it is toward right side. When we displace it from equilibrium position or from the mean position, then in that block, in that spring, some restoring forces develop and which is towards the mean position. Now, the restoring force developed in this spring depends on the displacement of the block. So therefore, they are proportional. And if you see the direction of this restoring force and the direction of displacement. So we displace the block towards the right side and the restoring force here towards the left. So they are oppositely directed. So we can put the negative sign. So we get here this equation. And by this equation, we can define here the linear SHM. Linear SHM means what? The uh, oscillatory motion, basically, where the restoring force proportional to the displacement and both are oppositely directed. So this is the definition of linear SHM. I hope everyone understood this. Now I can explain, I can uh, project the definition on the screen. You can go through it. Now here we get F proportional to this minus x and we can insert the constant k so where k is a constant of proportionality and it is also called as force constant now negative sign indicate that force restoring forces and displacement they are oppositely directed now here with the help of this exam this formula we have to obtain differential equation of linear shm now let me start differential equation now we know this formula f is equal to minus kx we have to start with that as well as by newton's second law of motion we know that f is equal to ma both the formulas are for force so we equate equation one and two so we get a next step and it is minus kx is equal to ma the right hand side of equation one is equal to right hand side of the equation two because the left hand side is same. Now here, in this formula, we know that velocity is dx by dt. And by using that, we can, we also know that acceleration is, acceleration is this dv by dt. In that, if I substitute v, this v in this formula, then we can write acceleration is dx, d square x by dt square. Now, this acceleration we have to substitute in this formula or equation number three. So, we get the next equation. So, here we get this ma term I am written here. So, m into this acceleration d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx. Now, m also we can shift to that side. So, we get the next equation and it is d square x by dt square is plus k by m is equal to 0 or before that also we can write so d square x by dt square is equal to minus k by mx then that's minus k by mx we can shift to this left hand side then it is plus k by m and it is written in the equation number four you can see and this is a differential equation of linear SHM. this is differential equation in that also we can do the more modifications here this k by m represent this omega square. So omega is the angular velocity, angular frequency. Now if we substitute, so the k by m is omega square. It means that omega is k by m, uh, root k by m that you remember. So omega square is k by m. So we can substitute and we get 
one more form of this differential equation in term of omega. So this is differential equation. So remember, so here this equation four and equation five, they are the differential equation of linear SHM. The equation four is in term of force constant and equation five in term of omega means angular frequency or angular velocity. So this question is already asked in the board exam. So you have to remember it in that way. Question may be asked, define linear SHM and state differential equation. If it is a state, then only you have to write this equation or this equation. Out of these two, anyone you can write in a differential equation. 